Now we are going to remember Larry King. The legendary talk show has conducted some 50,000 interviews over a more than 50-year career. Tributes are pouring in from all over the world. Chris Connolly is live in Los Angeles, the place Larry King called home. Good morning, Chris. And good morning, George. And yes, we loved him out here. Larry King relied on short questions and his own lifelong curiosity for interviews that sometimes became part of the national conversation. He once said he liked guests with passion, a sense of humor, or a chip on their shoulder. And in his remarkable career, he sure found a lot of them. How do you deal with the, are you with men more or women more? Do you want to be married? What, what are your I thoughts? I deal with it just fine. If you made movies or music, no, if you made history. Oh, what were you thinking as you walked? I am now going to do something creative in order to, sp to help to speed up the liberation of my people. Made people laugh. Don't, no, flirt, no, don't, 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 don't flirt, flirt with the host. Kermit, she does. She's very pretty. Or just made people go, what? Have you ever commented on guilt or innocence? My opinion is I think O.J.'s guilty. Then you were one of the estimated 50,000 people who talked live to Larry King, especially during his 25 years in primetime on CNN's Larry King Live. I have been at the head table of life. I've seen uh, evil and good. Uh, I've seen bad things and nice things. Those who sat across from him on the air paid homage to King after his death on Saturday at the age of 87. Madonna, so sorry to hear of your passing. Viola Davis, rest in peace, Larry King. What a titan you were. Bette Midler, a great interviewer and a great listener, and they are not the same thing. King could make news on occasion, as he did in 1992, when billionaire Ross Perot all but announced his candidacy for president on his show. Or when O.J. Simpson called in the day after his 1995 acquittal. How are you? I'm doing fine. Then, as always, King was unafraid to ask the simplest of questions. Guided more by curiosity than confrontation, King liked to keep his convos spontaneous, sparking plenty of memorable exchanges. Bum, 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 bum. Got a date with an angel. You have key. As unflappable as he was on air, King's personal life could get a little tumultuous at times. There were two bankruptcies, a quintuple heart bypass in 1987, then there were his marriages, eight of them, and seven divorces, enough to put this one-time USA Today columnist in the gossip columns himself. His three surviving children, calling him an amazing father, releasing a statement following his passing, saying in part, we know without a doubt in the world, he loved us more than life itself. I wanted to be a broadcaster since I could remember. When I was five years old, I wanted to be a on radio. I'm your moderator, Larry King. But through an amazing 63 years in broadcasting, King uh, never got way. tired yeah, of listening to know. other people. My endless search to learn more never let me. And that has kept me going, and I'm insatiably curious. And he will long be remembered as a broadcasting legend. Guys? He certainly will. One of a kind. Uh, yeah, but I also enjoyed his column in the USA Today. I don't know if you remember that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I like ice cream. It would just okay. be like, just a random thought. It was <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.